The Year of the Golden Seed, July 26th, 2021. It is not so many hours later that I sit again to write. I spent a sleepless night in my new bed. Between the full moon and the fact that the sun sets for only a short while at this time of year, my attic bedroom was infused with light throughout the small hours. Nevertheless, I awoke content. Akien, as is invariable in French towns, contains a church, the bells of which I now know ring out cheerfully at exactly 7 o'clock a.m. These church bells peal over the town with a bright, round resonance, singing out unexpectedly at times throughout the day. Walking through their resonance feels like a sound bath and, perhaps today, on the first day of the new year, a summoning. Across from my window, the café remains closed in mute indifference to my desire for a mug of coffee. Given the fact that my kitchen is empty of anything but a sink, a sawhorse table, and a small bag of food I brought from the abbey, even with my resourcefulness, I have no means of making a hot cup of anything right now. I am currently drinking water and breaking my fast on cold leftover stew I made earlier in the week. It feels like a feast. So I sit and eat and I listen to the bells. Today, they seem to herald, is the dawn of a new year, the year of the yellow seed. But when I see the seed in the eye of my mind, it is not yellow, but gold. The year of the golden seed, I think. This, I understand, is a year of planting and patience. As I place in the soil of my life my deepest heart's desires, I believe that they will spring forward eventually as something bright and wonderful and unexpected. This, I understand, is not the year of harvest, but of intention, where I drop into the quivering, fecund quantum field the seeds of my own personal legacy. Following on the breath of the blue storms of the past year, I understand that the wishes I sow in this coming year will take root in the deepest soil of my being, watered by my longing and love and hope. What will I plant, I wonder, in this bright and golden year of possibility? Later. I sat today in meditation, a New Year's meditation. In the quiet and stillness of my inner space, I spoke aloud my deepest desire, the thing that, more than anything, I wish to bring forth in the coming year. As I lay on the cold tiles of this clinical apartment, yet another unfamiliar place in a seemingly endless succession of unfamiliar places where I have lived, I heard my deepest desire rise up from the depths of me. Shaking. I heard my own voice whisper, home, bring me home. I didn't recognize that voice, though it came from my own body. I felt as though it emerged from some unacknowledged place, somewhere very deep and far away. This voice was soft and tremulous, like a child's. As it spoke, it caught on itself, half sobbing with longing, home. Bring me home. Home. In this moment, I can almost feel it. I can almost taste it. It is somewhere warm and inviting, somewhere that welcomes me with open arms. I belong in that place like I've never belonged anywhere. When I am home, I am seen and heard and held and loved. There is safety there and contentment. There is trust and laughter and joy. I will not have to hammer at the door to be let in, nor doggedly convince anyone to open it. I will not have to prove anything to be welcomed, nor be judged, weighed, and considered worthy. There I am simply seen and loved for all that I am. That is home. That is what I am asking for. As I say it, it feels so impossible, so far away. How could a place like this exist, let alone call me to it? It's like nothing I have ever felt.
And yet, this is the year of the golden seed, a year of fertile soil and reverent planting. Home, the precious golden seed I have been carrying for so long, I place now achingly, lovingly into the waiting earth. I cover it until it disappears. Now, there is only trust, only faith in its existence. <laughs>